Hi everybody, this is Dave Patterson with Waterski Wakeboard Canada. I'm joined by a living legend, Jared Llewellyn. Jared, welcome. Still living. Yeah. yeah. So we're here at the Masters here in Georgia, and uh, Jared, you're not on the water this year. Around a big difference for you. Uh, how's uh, the rehab coming? It's coming along really well. Um, taking it a little bit easier this year. Um, not not a World Championships. I probably tried to get off the gun too quick last year, but uh, uh, just getting back on the water. Um, had the surgery back in August after the World Championships, and uh, everything is going really well. But uh, I'm, I'm taking it slow and, and kind of building up for next year's World Championships. So for a lot of people, coming to the event on a year off would be a, a way to really ratchet down the stress. But you found a way to ratchet it up yesterday. Can you talk to me a little bit about uh, the experience of working with your son Dorian yesterday here at the Masters? No, uh, incredible feeling. Uh, it's really hard to explain unless you've been through it. Uh, it's amazing to see your child go out and do that. At that level, um, I wanted to slap them a few times because you know, you, you, but you got to let them grow, you know. And it was it was uh, a really experience for me. And he did really well. He didn't have a lot of time on the water. He's going to a really hard school up in Boston where he's playing hockey. Uh, so we were limited on our time on the water, and um, he did really well. He came second in tricks and third in overall, and didn't have much ramp time. So um, he's doing really well. I'm really proud of him. So. Uh, you know, he's going to come home in a couple of weeks and he's going, to, he's going to go right back at it and be ready for the summer. So the Llewellyn name is going to continue to be a legend here in our sport, we hope. Oh, I hope so. I mean, we're trying to keep the doors open for him whichever way he wants to go. He's, he's a great athlete. Um, he's got a really good head on his shoulders and uh, whichever way he wants to go. But uh, he, he's, a, he's a good athlete and, he, uh, you know, he's skiing for Austria right now. And I told Britta you can have him in the beginning, but Canada will have him at the end. So <laughs> don't worry, he's going to be there. That's great news. And so yesterday we had a good day for Canadians along with Dorian, along with Jared Bull. We've had a, a good morning for Canadians here with Whitney's performance. So give an assessment of uh, how Canadians are doing here at the prestigious Masters. Um, definitely, you know, the last few worlds we had a very young team. Our team has uh, got a lot more pro events. We have great juniors coming up. It's incredible how well we do as far as, you know, as the limited summer that we have, but we're pretty, we're pretty intense country. And we're, uh, everyone in the rest of the world um, looks at Canada as, as a role model. Everything that we do, you know, with Steve Bush and everything we do, testing, no one else does that. We, we are, uh, you know, elite sport and uh, I'm proud of all our athletes and with Whitney and Jason and you know Ryan they're very you know you know they're coming up and they they have the experience now so we're always going to be a threat at the world championships for the next you know years to come well great thanks for your time Jared we're all going to speaking to Canadians we're all going to catch up now with Rusty Malinowski and uh, Aaron Rathie in the uh, wakeboard competition thanks for your time and uh, best of luck with the rehab thank you very much we'll catch you at the Canadian Nationals thanks sir